Welcome to the He's Wrong, She's Right podcast, the podcast that's so boring it'll put you to sleep. And if you don't believe me, check the YouTube comment. <laughs> Leave a comment yourself. Let us know if you think we're the most boring podcast on YouTube. And if we're not, tell us who is the most boring podcast on YouTube so we can subscribe to them. Ooh, okay. Um, thinking we should do 100 subscriber giveaway. Oh, what are we giving away? $100 Amazon gift card. <laughs> All you have to do. I want to win. All you have to do is, all you have to do is be subscribed, leave a comment. That's it. I don't care what the comment is. Just leave a comment on any of our videos. It could be this one. It could be the next one. It could be ten episodes ago. Just it has to be on YouTube, and you have to be a subscriber. It's the only criteria. That's so exciting. If you want bonus points, tell your mom to subscribe and comment that you should win with your username, so we know who you are. Because if you just say you. Only their mom? Their dad. Oh, okay. Their, their nephew. Okay. I was wondering if it was going to go to like a, your mom or something. Nah, their their um, grandma. Okay. Uh, if grandma will give us her best cookie recipe, that's two extra points. Ooh, yeah. He considers himself to be the cookie monster. Chocolate chip cookies. Give them to me right now. Give them to me. Gib. G-I-B. Give to me. I don't get it. It's going over my head. It's, what What does it give? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. yeah. Walk, look at her face, guys. She's being serious. What, no, really. What does it give? Oh, I didn't even run the intro. <laughs> welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, on this episode. We're talking about dating. We are? Yes. I wonder if I have those, uh, yeah, I do have the tab pulled up about them. I've got tabs, so I can show them tabs. Look at this. Check it out. If I go to a wide cam too now, boom, they can see that browser window. They already know who we're talking about. We're a little bit late to the party because we should have done it last week, but. We were yeah. doing other things last week. Yeah. So they both orgasm at the same time. Well, yeah, because. They share, but you know what else came out because a clitoris, of clitoris, no, no, no. a vulva, so, a uterus. So, so listen to this. This this gets even better because this came out. This woman, um, I, I believe maybe she has OnlyFans. Um, she came out. Does everybody have OnlyFans except us? Because they won't let us. Um, yeah. So if you click that link, you're probably you've probably been rickrolled. <laughs> you're welcome. Um. So what came out just after this is that there is a woman on OnlyFans okay. who has two vaginas. How does two vaginas work? And she I've has, heard a bit and she has heard two, about this as a medical anomaly, has, but how does it work? I don't know. But she has two boyfriends and each of them has their own dedicated vagina. Oh God. Could you imagine if you shared me no. with another man it's not because happen. I had two Vaginas. It's not going to happen. They can keep dreaming. So Abby and Brittany Hensel. Okay. Right. Um, apparently they actually got married a while ago. It's been like three years. Yeah, I think it was like 2019. Did you drink on both of your drinks? Jeez. That's what I thought you did. <laughs> I thought it was so that we didn't make any noise. No, we can crack them open here. I'll open my second one. And I'll drink one of the koozie. <laughs> this is a uh... look. I have the. I have the bad one, the one that the thing, the eel is ripping. So it like, it's like vacuumed inside there. This one, it comes out really easy. Say, so, like it just slides out. This one, you try and pull it. It's like you're literally creating a, a, a. So my vagina when you're trying to pull out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> There's a term for it. Uh, it does it like when you're in water okay. and you like splash the water and then the water taps on itself. Okay. I probably just blew out the microphone. They're probably pissed off. It's the same thing. There's a there's a term for it, some science word. I'm good with science words sometimes, but other times I'm not. Okay. Yeah. You also but haven't it, taken your medicine today, right? Yeah, I have. Bullet wound you cavity. have? Yeah. Bullet wound cavities do the same thing. It actually causes an explosion. It's pretty cool on slow mo camera. Mm. Slow mo guys have done. I think uh, what's his name that shot him or blew up, his rifle blew up, which that happened again to another YouTuber firing an RPG. His RPG blew up. Yeah. You've gone off on a tangent here. Let's get back to dating and the conjoined twins. Okay. 
Those other people have girlfriends and wives and husbands too. You're just ignoring that. Yes, I'm That's ignoring weird. that. Okay, so. So. Two heads, two brains, two mouths. But one vagina. One vagina. And only one of them is married. But they both had to pay for college. They, they both had to independently pay for their degrees. What if you wanted to go, what if you wanted to do two different things? What if one of you wanted to be a astronaut and the other one of you wanted to be, uh, I don't know, a submariner? Then I'm sure they would create a contract within themselves, the two conjoined twins. Do you of... think they have to sleep at the same time? Yes, of course. Why? Uh, because if the body is at rest, then obviously they have to be still together. I, I like to sleep on my side. Can you imagine skull against skull in the bed? Mm, they probably have to sleep on their back. A special pillow? Maybe. They Like a wedge between them? But back what to one, of you one being... Yeah, probably. But back to being married, only one of them. Do you think they put like a partition up? I read somewhere, and who knows if this, if this is true, the non-married one will either put in her earbuds and listen to true crime and try and block it out, or she'll read a book. But how, do, how would you read a book? Yeah, he's going to flip her over, and she's going to be face down. Into right. The I, I, can, I can see that your pods or whatever and like, you know, zoning out. But still, you're halfway through your book and all of a sudden you're orgasming and you don't even know why. Could you imagine? I, and then he slashed his knife across her throat and this, she's this, orgasming. They, they shouldn't have put themselves back in the news. The popularity apparently is uh, causing other problems. Their husband is being slapped with a paternity suit now. And it only happened. Who knows when this baby was born, but... It only just so happened after they've been back in the spotlight. Oh, so my gosh. Perfect timing. Good job, ex-wife. You know what you're after. We know what you're after. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I don't even know if any of them have money, but the popularity and the fame, they could probably make some money off right. of this. They're probably making money off of the articles if, if, and TV shows. If any of your kids were born like this. Would you have one of their heads chopped off? I don't think you can. Okay. I think. I don't know. No, I genuinely think that the risks would outweigh the potential reward because I truly believe that. I think their uh, username on like social media is two heads are better than one. That's that's cute. How, how does she give blowjobs? Does one literally gargle the balls or lick the base of the shaft while the other one's sucking on the head? I mean, they're pretty conjoined. I don't think that they're, it's like a Medusa situation where there's... But if they're both facing it, like if you and I put our heads together right now... Look right, like, yeah, yeah, there's no way lick... that I would be able to swallow while you're like licking also. They probably do it though, because legally they can't, both heads can't be married to the same person. So then now does that cross the lines of, is it a threesome or is he cheating if he plays with the other head? I don't know. Why don't you ask? I don't know. What do you guys think? They don't think anything. What? Yeah. They're like, I just want to see what it's like. To play with two heads at yeah. once? Yeah. No, you just you just want to play with two sets of boobs at once. No, I don't yes. have enough hands. That's, that's, that's what your mouth is for. That's too much work. Too much work. Too much work. You're only saying that because I'm sitting right here. No, I've if said, I wasn't sitting right here, you'd be like, yes. I've said it to you individually. Oh, yeah, give it to me. Nah. Look, I'm playing with my microphone. I'm playing mm -hmm. with my microphone. Um. So yeah, moving on. Moving on. Now we're going to talk about our dating. Why? And ghosting and catfishing. Why? Don't you have a story behind that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, please Do share. You? Please share Do you your have a story. Um, I have been ghosted many times in my life, uh, but I've never been catfished, but I would love to hear your catfishing sure story. Sure, you haven't. Sure. Sure. No, I'll talk all about my ghosting history. Okay. Um, well, I told you about it. It was in the sidekick 
Well, T-Mobile screen like flips around days. 2008 era? Seven. Okay. So I was in San Antonio. Okay. Um, MySpace slash AOL Instant Messenger days. Yeah, that era. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know that was still going on in 2008. People were still using that. Facebook started like I think 2006. The entire, I'm pretty sure people were still using AOL Instant Messenger like all the way through while I was in the Army. What? Yeah. It wasn't until like BlackBerry Messenger became a thing that people really stopped using like dedicated messengers on their PC that they had to be in front of. Now they could take it on their phone. And then when the iPhone came out, it shifted away from BlackBerry Messenger to um, specifically text messaging, but then also, I don't know when uh, whatever iPhone's messaging is, like their discrete messaging is called. It's called iMessaging, but I wouldn't call it discrete in any way. It's just a text message. No, that's when it's dedicated to one specific piece of software or hardware it's called discrete it's not a it's not about being secretive okay it's dedicated i had blackberries all the way up until i switched to iphones and i don't remember anything specific to blackberry messenger i just yeah blackberry, it was, it was blackberry just text messages no blackberry messenger had its own dedicated like messaging that only worked between blackberry devices i Definitely didn't use it, is my point. <laughs> you probably didn't, maybe didn't know it. Okay. Yeah, it was called uh, BBM, BlackBerry Messenger. Yeah, I... And if anybody didn't know, there are actually... BlackBerry actually makes Android devices now. And if you've owned a Ford in... I think it was when Sync 3 came out, their parent company, who I'm blanking on the name right now, um, they were actually the ones responsible for making those displays, and they ran Android. They were basically the first dedicated Android Auto. It just wasn't labeled Android or BlackBerry or any of that. Uh, Research in Motion is the name of the company. They're a Canadian company. Okay. Yeah. Fun fact. Fun facts with Drew. There's a segment. Anyways, please Ooh. tell us about your catfishing story. I wasn't catfished, though. I catfished. That is, is not, that, called, is, that, that even... is not what you told me. Yeah, it is. That's exactly what I told you. No, you she said tried. that she sent you pictures two of two pictures. Yeah. separate women yeah. and That's you caught me. on pretty quickly. Well, it happened like within 24 hours. Right. So you caught, yeah. you caught on pretty quickly, yeah. but she was definitely catfishing you. And she to tried. this day, you don't know what she actually looked like. She's probably a blob. Right, so that is, guy that is in his mom's basement. That is what cash catfishing is. You can do it without being a blob. You could use your actual pictures and just extort them for money. Ooh, that's a good idea. There you go. I'm going to use your pictures and extort dudes for money. Oh, fuck you. Um, before we get too far into this, are we too far into this? No, we're 14 minutes in. That's too far, though. Um, we want to thank Jake and Carissa and their friends for throwing money to us for some new equipment. We haven't ordered anything yet because this just happened. Um, but we got our first we got our first sponsor deal, essentially. I asked him for stuff to say before recording, and he was like, all right, I'll get that to you, and he didn't. So oh, no. if you're watching this, actually talk. Just talk. So thank them so I can pull up the... Thank you for sending us money yeah. so that we can buy some much better equipment than what we have currently. Laura and Taylor. Okay. Thank you as well. And, I and think, they own two separate establishments, correct? I don't even know if these are the same people. He was oh. talking about, he's, yeah, he's been working a bunch of people. Okay. Here, so, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm spewing secondhand information and. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, we're still on the, the twins. We should get rid of them. Run back to us. So they've been seeing the twins this whole time? Yeah. No, really? Yeah. That's what they were watching. <laughs> And that's what they're watching now. Yeah. So I can take that out of there. Or I can leave that in there. Or I can go back to our wide cam right here. And I can take the overlay off. And then I can switch it so they can look at your boob window. Boob window. Boob window. Which, by the way, he caught somebody yesterday. That was what? yesterday already? Yeah, that was yesterday already. Oh, yeah. You want to tell them about that? Oh, yeah. Cape Fear Seafood Company. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Old man walking out from his it's grandkids. one of our favorite local spots. Old man walking out with his grandkids from the birthday party and mm, just yeah. straight up and down as he walked past her. And I was like, locked eyes right with him. And he was like, 
<laughs> you can't get past me. I know. You can't. And like, I'm completely oblivious because I'm looking at him the entire time, every single time. No, we were looking at the hostess who was being kind of a bitch. Yeah, she she was. But I was looking back and forth between the hostess and you. She never not looked ever up at once. Us. She never looked up at us. She talked to us without ever even looking up yes. at us. Yes. She was on the phone when we walked in, never even gave, you know, one minute, never did anything, just continued looking down at the podium. And then she put the phone down and she was like, do you have a reservation? And we're like, no, can we just sit at the bar? And she's like, yeah, go ahead. While wearing a mask with her pink hair, blue hair, orange hair. She had colored hair. Yeah. Oh, and she had way too much time. It was the eyeshadow. Blue. That's that's what you were remembering, the blue. Yes. She was a blue raccoon. Yes. All the way up to the eyebrows. Yeah. Blue raccoon. I'm going to call her. I'm going to see her again. <laughs> you will raccoon. because she is the hostess I've there. Never seen her before. Yes, you have. She's just not normally wearing a mask. So I don't know what yesterday was about. You say so, wife? I do say so. Um, she was there all the time. And she's got a little bit of an accent, too. So oh, at first, that. when we, we first met her, I was thinking we've never met her. Her, her, her timidness came from um, English was not her first language, but I think it's more than that. We've never met this person. Um, we have because we go there all the time and she is always the hostess. <laughs> I think you're losing your mind. No, I'm not. So anyways. Please continue your story about how you were catfished. That wasn't it. It's the wrong. It's the wrong. <laughs> okay. Carry on with your story. So as soon as we picked up on it, we. Who's we? Please go into oh, detail. Who I, is we? I was an ART, so basically everyone in the barracks. Okay. So you were like, yo, this girl sent me two pictures that are clearly not the same person. The boobs don't match. Yes, the boobs don't match. The boobs don't match. That's this all you the, were paying attention to. This is before. To. And were the pictures like it? yay small on your sidekick? Oh, yeah, grainy. Yeah. Okay. You can tell from, you can, it's clear as day from the face. Like the bone structure, the, it's not the same person. You know about bone structure? I can, I can. I guarantee you. If I look at your skull, I can tell that you're not the same person as your sister. So, yes. See, that's funny that you say that because she and I have very similar bone structures. Our no. facial features are different, but our bone structures are very similar. I'm talking about the bones in your face. Yes. So, okay, carry on. So then we just trolled her for the rest of the time. And what was the rest of the time? Like 60, 90 days? No. Um, and she supposedly lived, lived back home? I don't call it home. But okay. yes, back uh, in your hometown home of area is what we, we call it home of record, home of record. Yeah. So if you were to die, that's where your body was going to be sent. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Where you enlisted from okay. or commissioned from if you're an officer. Okay. So that's the end of the story. Basically. Yeah. No. Once you went back to your home of record. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I kept sending her to places. They you would send gonna... her GPS locations of where you were I'm... not. We didn't have GPS yet. Not in the way, like you could buy like a Garmin or something, but you just either told people, hey, go to this restaurant on this street, or you would tell them where to go and they would map quest it. Okay. Because this was 2007. Okay. Yeah, that's it. And then she would message you, hey, I arrived. Where are you? So you flipped the catfishing situation into almost a ghosting situation. Yeah. But you were like taunting her in it. Yeah, of course. Right. And I had a girlfriend at the same time. You conniving little... Okay, and she was in on it? I don't know if she was in on it, but she knew. Like, we explained it to her. I was like, yeah, this happened. Ha, 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 it's funny. Probably she probably had the exact same reaction that you would have had. Probably just being like, "Stop, just please, yeah, leave her alone, leave her alone." She's clearly no, though, because she started it, I finished it. <laughs> so this girlfriend is it somebody that you met in San Antonio, or was no? It was a girl that I knew from my hometown. Ultimately, it she was... could have actually helped you figure out who this girl. It was before I got my initial orders, so my. My uh, training changed while I was there. Originally, I was supposed to go directly from AIT 
to airborne school and mm-hmm. then I was supposed to go to Prague. And then I ended up not going to airborne school because I wanted to go through flight medic training. And when they dropped uh, airborne school for my orders, my first duty station orders changed to Korea, which fucked me. So, so basically you should have stayed with the original. Um, sure. I mean, my buddy from my hometown, who I'm still friends with, um, which is funny. I'll show you a picture of him sometime. Uh, he lost an eye. You want to know where he lost an eye? In Florida after he got out of the army looking into a firework mortar tube. Oh, that sounds had, spot on with he, you. He had zero injuries in his time in the 82nd. Got out, lighting off fireworks, looked down, popped him right in the eye. So he, wow. he has a glass eye. And Is he, it like a good glass eye? No, he doesn't, have... no he, he doesn't want it to look real. Oh, my God. He was an all-black glass eye with the uh 82nd uh airborne division insignia like on it that's so great his name is Gre- uh gregory amons gregory danger amons that's what he goes by on facebook okay now all of our 10 viewers are gonna go look him up yeah. so that they can go look at this black glass eye yeah yeah exactly i'll show it to you but okay. yeah he at least the best one i was man like burping right in the microphone can't even type. Why is every time my phone updates for some reason, I cannot type correctly. So that's not as funny as how you told me the first time. So See? unfortunately, our <laughs> Actually, I think that's uh, the airborne. It's it's so hard to see because it's not close enough. But here you go, camera. Oh, so good. Yeah, it's awesome. Of course, you think it's awesome. Because it's hilarious. I mean, yeah. He it, has made the situation funny. It's just creepy to look at. Okay. Like, stares into my soul. What little sure. soul that I have left. Sure. sure. I believe Speaking you. of, I've never been catfished, but I certainly have been ghosted many times. Okay. So, um, after I was going through my divorce with my ex-husband... I would not tell people that I was a mother of four because as soon as I did, literally every dude went running for the hills. Did I know? Um, I don't think you did. I'm just a good guy. Well, y- you did. I'm a good dude. <laughs> <laughs> you did after... You creeped on my Facebook. You didn't know when you were sent out to the porch because there was some chick with boobs outside for you to check out. You were with a group of friends. I didn't even explicitly know. Right. So you didn't know that I was attached to four of the children that were going up and down the slip and slide. Yeah. So that makes me a good dude. So you're admitting that you did slide into my DMs not knowing. Obviously. Yeah. No, that means that I did know because I'm a good dude. Yeah. (laughs) No, no. Yeah, and now I'm trying to adopt them. See, I'm a good dude. Yeah, you are. You are. She admitted it right now on camera. <laughs> this is on the official record. For- the official record forever. Yep. That as soon as you found out that I had four children, you didn't run for the hills. Yeah. It was that I'm a good dude. I'm going to use this as evidence for the rest okay. of my life. This is evidence yep. that you can adopt my four children. <laughs> yeah, because I'm a good dude. I'm going to walk right up to the judge and be like, judge. I'm a good dude. I need to be like, stamp of approval. <laughs> I wish that it worked that way. I genuinely do. It will. It will. Maybe. I don't know. I've never really even tried will. this before. I don't have any biological kids of my own that I know of. If you're out there. Don't contact him. He's not <laughs> worth it. Just don't have any money. <laughs> Come back when I'm rich. Then we can talk. Stop. Then there's going to be like 25 paternity tests coming your way. You've been shooting blanks since 2007, I'm sure. Okay. I mean, the man has never worn a condom and doesn't have a child to his name. I wore one once in my life, I'm sure. No. Yeah. No. You told me when we met that you had never worn a condom. And I literally, See, this... I have never gagged in my entire life. And that, that, that speaks... was disgusting. That speaks to the quality. Like... That speaks to the quality of woman. The quality of woman. Yeah, women. But the quality of woman, each time, they're one at a time, 
So the quality of women overall or the quality of women individually. You have had sex with so many girls and women. You started fucking at 12 years old. Maybe 13. You told me 12, I don't... which I'm sorry, at 12 years old, I was still playing with Barbies. I didn't mark it on the calendar or anything. <laughs> so disgusting. So disgusting. I was friends with the older group. I was... You were like, ooh, a hole for me to put it the into. Ladies, the ladies loved me for some reason. I had abs. I had abs. That was a big thing, you know. They always wanted to touch my abs. They wanted to see the little V cut. Are you going to get abs for me? I mean, I, still, I have never I mean, seen these magical abs I mean, that supposedly used to I exist. still have abs. They're just filled behind. They're back filled with a keg. I've got the six pack with the keg behind it on the shelf. What the fuck? He's on she's right.com. Go check out <laughs> Nona's boobs on nonafelts.com. And then visit the technologies, America's Technology Center of Excellence, lamaxmedia.com. Links are in the description. Like and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you leave a comment. If you leave a comment, you have a chance of winning a $100 gift card when we hit 100 subscribers on YouTube specifically. You're welcome to subscribe everywhere else. I encourage you to do that. But subscribing directly on YouTube and leaving a comment is how you can get that $100 Amazon gift card. And maybe we'll do something else in the future. I don't know. I know other channels do stuff like they'll give away like PlayStation 5 and yeah. We don't even have a PlayStation 5. It's because none of us really play video games. I've got like three games on my computer and two of them are because the kids, one of them is because it's amazing. Grand Theft Auto. That I've had since the day it came out. <laughs> and I just keep upgrading and upgrading and upgrading. I still have the game. Oh my gosh. It's a forever game. I actually think Grand Theft Auto 6 comes out this year. I think it's this year that it finally comes out. Put some time into that maybe. Yeah, she's like, no, you're not. You're going to be doing chores. I wish you would do chores. I do do chores. You do do? I do do. You do do? Do do. Yes, you do do. Do do. Yep. Not chores though, but you do do. You look really small on the camera next to me. That's because you're massive. Well, it's also a situation where the camera is physically closer to me. So it's like that, um, the optical illusion. Are you kidding me? I literally have it in my mouth hole because you said that nobody camera. can hear. Camera. Oh. Even on, you can tell on the <laughs> microphones that my, my microphone is bigger than yours, but the same microphone. So since you wanted to talk about relationships. Yes. Let's I, talk about I them. actually had something pulled up okay. for that. So let's go to that real quick. You can't see it, but they can see it. Here, yeah. I'll show it to you. What are we talking about? Brad and Angelina. What about them? Angelina Jolie's lawyer alleges Brad Pitt's history of physical abuse of Jolie started well before their 2016 plane altercation. Well, 2016, I was wiping babies' butts, so I had no idea that there was supposedly a plane altercation to begin with. Didn't so they all just, of this is brand new to me. Didn't they just get back together recently? I have no knowledge of that. Who are these? There's always the... Uh, they join the names together. You got like Brad, Jelena or whatever, Affleck and whatever. You know exactly what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, um, it was Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez who got back together last year. So what is their conjoined name? No idea. Jennifer. Sure. Sure. Maybe I just Well, he was that. married to a different Jennifer also. They just both happen to be Jennifers. You say so. I don't know anything about any of this. He has like two or three girls. With I don't her. know shit about fuck. So I don't either. <laughs> yeah. All of this is brand new to me. I had no idea that there was a plane altercation. I had no idea that there was supposedly physical abuse. There you go. There's another relationship one for you. Look at that. Oh, are Look they still it. together? I'm pulling up. Yeah. I'm pulling up relevant stuff today. Well. And I just saw that his brother that um, was that, that fake acting WWE nonsense what are you talking about it, it was supposed to be live last night on peacock it kept popping up as an ad i mute ads by the way when we're if we're watching something on streaming yeah neither of us want to watch ads if there if an ad pops up mute right away right to jail right to audio he jail oozing life what the fuck who says oozing life i don't know i haven't even read this i just use google trends everybody knows if you ever if you want relevant information each day don't use an app because 
they're just selling your data too. You might as well keep it all in one place. You're already, you so already... this whole article is that they're oozing life, got a Super Bowl ring, and high on life. Quote, unquote. Sure. Rich people doing rich people things. Right. Which, that's a riff on uh, my buddy who's a radio DJ in South Bend. They have a segment called Stupid People Doing Stupid Things. Oh, okay. <laughs> I want to hear about this. I love hearing they're, about they're, stupid people. They're all Florida man stories. Yeah. They're, uh, if anybody knows Bob and Tom, they're like South Bend's local Bob and Tom show. I have no idea what that is. Their show is called the Jason Lee and Cluck Show. His name is Warren Cluck and Jason Lee. That makes me think of Huck, okay. which is your favorite disc for... Yeah. Okay. Go sit in your timeout chair, bitch. Did you keep that in when we were filming the other day, by the way? Or did you no, move it? No, the chair was already gone because we put the dog beds in That's the corners right. to fill the echo that didn't work. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't have changed equipment. Oh, well. Yeah. Oh, well. We're digressing. It's okay. You guys might see that episode. You might not. It's three and a half, almost four hours long. But the stories uh, that he told yeah. were amazing. Yeah. We had our first non-special guest. Yeah. And what do we we still don't know what to call him. No, we don't. Right. Get rid of this stupid. Come on, Andrew. Yeah, Andrew, make it disappear. And that's why if I have the, if I have my why little, is it still there? It's on this side. This is this is the preview. This is what people are seeing. Okay. I because if you I, know I don't understand it. Because if I did this, then I'd be like, oh, I don't know which one is which. And then I'd have to click it and it would pop up on the screen. And they don't see any of this. They don't know what's going on. They just see this little window. That's all they see. Well, you see in there is all they see. Okay. Yep. OBS is superior to all these paid streaming software, software as a service, plat web app platforms where you require Wi-Fi or internet of some kind. Just use OBS. It's free. It's open source. You can even build your own plugins and applications for it. There's tons of stuff for it. There's a wide variety of things already built for multiple use cases. Right now we could be streaming, but we're not because I need it added. Anywho. Anyways. You're, you're, you've got something in the boob window. Come on. What's wrong with you? Oh, that could be a good shirt idea. Boob window. Like this dress? Yeah. This is the only dress that he has picked out ever in our entire relationship, by the way. A good dress. He picked it out because of the boob, boob window. window. So yeah. Get yourself a boob window. Later. <laughs> um that so that show we just watched. Let's here. Um, because I was gonna say I'm giving relationship advice, right? If if anybody wants to make themselves more appealing to their husband, mm. Nona will give you advice like the Mormons do. Oh my god. Stop it. <laughs> no, I won't. Yes, she will. No, I won't. Yes, she will. Come to me. <laughs> I'll tell her. That's how Bob and Bob did it. Bob and Bob. Bob Do you want to tell them the show that we just watched? The story about Jan Broberg. Mm -hmm. Jan Broberg and her multiple kidnappings and believing in aliens and being coerced by a 36, 38-year-old man who... Befriended them. Who, okay. And as I told you about the whole Reddit thing, it was so difficult to find actual information about his and who knows if that's actually even his first wife that's just the first wife that we know about right um what's his name uh birch 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 tall birch told uh, something like that bob yeah. birch told yes. robert birch told um he it, it was difficult to find the information about gail how old she was mm -hmm. so the information i found might not even be right right but it appeared to me by doing some simpleton math that she was about 18 when she gave birth to the first of their five kids. So she was probably 17, 18 when they got married. And, and he worked over Jan for three years. Right. Or about, it was more than three years. Yeah, it was the first kidnapping was already two years into it or mm -hmm. something. Like that. So mm -hmm. she, so yeah, there's yeah. a there's a great possibility that she was worked over for two, three, four, five years. Right. And... That's probably how he, they definitely made it seem like he knew all the laws. He knew all the loopholes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So she was probably one of his practice runs. But so he, we really want to know how many 
others are out there. They implied at the end of the show that everybody that we interacted with was a victim because they, they showed the, the bishop. His daughter was standing off in the background. They kept panning to the girls. So it was a very open-ended. It was that he definitely continued, and we saw girls that had been in the show, uh, his girlfriend's daughter being one of them. I want to make it clear right now, right now, if you were attracted to young children... Andrew will murder you. Can't say that. Oh. You should sewer slide yourself. I thought that was even not No, we can say sewer slide. Okay. So we're not even monetized yet. I don't know why we're worried about this. He, we'll, we'll be he, demonetized he, later. But. He says that pedophiles should go through a wood chipper. Everyone says that. That's that's common. That's, and and I agree with that. I course. will buy the wood chipper for you. Yes. Yes. Spray it everywhere. Yeah. Pink mist. Okay. Some people call it baloney mist. I prefer pink mist. Ew, bologna mess? Yeah, because you're made out of flesh and, yeah. I love how you grabbed my, like, chicken fat. You're made out of flesh (laughs) as I grabbed the silicone. Don't tell people they're fake. You already did. Like Yeah, I was being, duh, they know that. Yeah, I I picked out the amputated pits from a corpse somewhere and had them glue them onto you. Why did you say that I was taking that? You know it's funnier that I did that that way? No, there are no amputated anything on me. Okay. Shut up. You don't know what happened to you when you were a baby. You could have been a cyborg experiment. Damn. I don't know. I'm pretty sure you are, though. Maybe. You would probably have, like, chips implanted in you and... I would know. Drilled holes in your brain just for fun. I would know. They do like to to pat me down at the airport. Well, they patted you down last time when I walked around. Yes. They certainly did. They, like, they had a good old time. They were like, this guy's been through here enough times. We don't need another look at him. But this one's new. This one. One one was the last time you'd been through the air. Well, and so we went through that experimental security thing where we didn't even have to take off our shoes. And that was in Wilmington. But then when we flew back from Salt Lake City, which is a bigger airport, we still had to take off our shoes. Mm-hmm. We When we went through TSA in Wilmington, North Carolina, a year and a half ago, we didn't have to take off our shoes. If either of us had worn a belt, which I definitely don't do, we wouldn't have had to take it off. We left all of our clothes on. We didn't have to take anything off. We walked. Did we have to take our phones out? I don't remember. Yes. We did? Yes. Bring, yes. Rings too? Did we have our rings yet? No. I didn't. Did you? No, no. we did not. No. Okay. I don't remember. Come on. But when I traveled post ring by myself... Did you have to take it off? No, I did not. So the trade-off is you don't have to take off your clothes, but it's because they can already see under your clothes. So Mm -hmm. not that they couldn't before, but now it's, I've said this a million times. It's a convenience thing. If you can do something to make something seemingly more convenient for people, you can remove their freedoms. That's exactly what it is. Oh, try out our new thing. We're just going to track you in your car. But you'll get cheaper insurance. Don't worry about it. We're just going to sell all of your data to China and Russia and every social media platform. And Facebook's going to sell your messages to Netflix. And Netflix is going to share your watch history with Facebook for $100 million. No big deal. It's convenient for you because we made your selections easier. We know what you talk about. Sounds about right. That's exactly what happened. But we're (laughs) talking about dating, so. We are? Yes. So. If you're in somebody's DMs and you're like, I'm being sneaky, no, you're not. Not only does the do does everybody know, the platforms know, there's nothing secure unless you build it yourself. There's Please nothing don't give cheaters an idea. There's I'm sure there's already something. So that's the benefit of an Android device. And actually it's coming to iPhone soon, thanks to the EU. They're forcing uh, Apple to allow sideloading applications. So you know how like on our computers, like I can just visit a website and download an app. I don't have to use Microsoft store. Like I could go to www.porn.com and download porn.com's app if I wanted to for my... Does that exist? Probably. How would you know? Because it's such a generic name. Somebody owns porn.com. Somebody owns porn.com. Do you have porn.com on your phone? No, I don't have any. On your computer? No. 
Sure. Sure. Whatever you say. You'll put it on your computer, probably. Ew. Why would I have it on my computer? One of your children. I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready for that. That's why anytime I see something on my laptop that the oldest uses, I start, I walk up to the room with a Clorox wipe before I even... Oh, do you really? Yeah. yeah. I don't even pick it up off his desk without carrying a Clorox wipe with me just in case. Uh, I wipe it all down, inside, outside, yeah, everything. Every time. I'm so not ready for that. I'm so not ready for that. Well, remember I told you somebody responded to something in the Spearhead, which Justin, shout out. Um, spearhead by Black Rifle Coffee, started by Justin Meather. Um, I made a post about something and they said, well, my wife walked in on a 12 year old choking the chicken. Right now, my oldest just takes very long showers. Let's hope that it at, stays at that way. 1 30 in the morning when you're already asleep. Right. right. Let's hope it stays contained in the shower. Not going to touch his socks sometimes. Luckily he does his own laundry. All of my children do their own well, laundry. And you know why he volunteered for that. He would not hold. He was, I told all of my children. I'm doing product placement for a brand that doesn't even to sponsor me. Do their own laundry. Actually, but they did send it to me for free. So I guess fair is fair. Fair is fair. Yeah. What were we talking about? Dating. I, ah, I'm already married. Right. We're talking to... about past dating, okay. dating in the world. If you want advice, on how to be an ogre and win this prize. Not this one specifically, but one like it. This one is taken. Give me a, give me a, uh, drop a comment. I will tell you what I did. In Apparently be very boring. Yeah, in detail. And make me fall asleep. Yeah. And yeah. then I just wake up one day and, oh, fuck, I'm married to this guy. Yep. Yeah. I, if you look at the signature, it's pretty scribbly. I'm just, I can't believe they let that through. I can't either. But I used your hand to do it, so that's what matters, right? Yeah. It's like a Sleeping Beauty story over here. What? Like I was asleep for three years, and then all of a sudden I woke up married. Is that the kissing one where he kisses her to wake her up? Is that? No, it's Snow White, right? What's the frog? Oh, that's a... Are all Disney frog. stories about rape? That actually reminds me of what, what was the... Oh, Dumb and Dumber that we watched... Or that that was the first time that I had seen it since it came out. What's the one we watched with the kids yet, a couple weeks ago? Yes. And it came out in what, 90s or something? All, the, all of Jim Carrey's good movies came out between like 91 and 90. But how creepy it was of this chauffeur following her all the way to Colorado just from seeing her one time. Okay. And if that happened now, he would immediately A, be canceled as a human. Like I'm obviously this is this is a movie, but like it, it just these days these days he would have had her contact information because he would have been an Uber driver or something. Right, like right, that. right. No, I which understand. Meant, but like it would have meant that he would have had the phone number where he could have contacted support and been like, Hey, the woman that I just dropped off left her bag and I'm trying to get it to her. No, to... but it was so much more than that. It was he saw her for the first time and was immediately in love with her. And just that is so incredibly creepy. That's how Nola felt the first time she saw me. She saw me strutting out of my um, Robert O. Burst, strong as pretty beard. Uh, What's it called? Tank top? And my pink and yet green shirt. Absolutely shorts. fucking not. She saw me and was like, that's the man I'm going to marry someday. No. She did. No. I saw the twinkle I in like... your eyes. I saw the twinkle in your eyes. Quit denying it. No. Absolutely not. So, hit me up for your relationship advice. Yeah, he will tell you how to ruin it. If you want your wife to be more attractive to you, oh my God. hit me up. I will put her in touch with Nona so she can on social media. If you would like to be awesome, like Jake and his wife and friends, you and can, donate. You can shoot us some money. I will actually I thought about this. If you just want to make a financial contribution with no nothing else. Or if you just want a shout out, we need to do like a, a ticker thing. A lot of people have like the end credits on their video when they're closing out their video. It's like their sponsors and donors and things like that. If you just want your name or business thrown onto that, once I create that, um, you will be able to just make a direct contribution right on the website. There won't be a product associated with it. You can just 
plug in whatever dollar amount you want. It'll go through our Stripe account. Yes, please send all the doll hairs. Yes. Or you can use Venmo or PayPal. We don't have business accounts or any of that yet. So if you don't want to do it directly on the website, tell me in the comments and I will say At it. Eat My Feelings. That's yours? Yes. At Eat My Feelings. Yes, Eat My Feelings. No hyphens, no uppercase, lowercase, it's not case sensitive, just at eat my feelings. Okay. Um, you're going to have people sending you dick pics in your Venmo now. That's a thing? I believe it is. I, I Venmo remember, is private. I remember hearing about stalkers using it as a way, like they, they could pay a dollar and send you a message or whatever. What? It might, yeah. Speaking of, that reminds me, have you ever had a girl who you just can't get rid of yeah okay please tell that story you got rid of her i said that you can't get rid of but but because we're here now she's gone so that's couldn't get rid of so I'm please being, tell I'm, that story i'm being semantic over here please be Pedantic, that story. semantic Pedantic? i don't know be that tell that story okay tell the juiciest one. Oh, i don't know not just a chick that i was kind of interested in and then at what point in your life was this? Oh, like college. Because, of course, here so this I... this is after getting out of the Army. Yeah, so I'm the old older guy in class because I'm 23 when I started college. Right. So I'm in school with 17, 18, 19-year-olds for some of my classes. Okay. And I'm also one of the more educated I'm good at homework. People want to study with me. People want to be on my project team because I don't let people do things if I don't trust them. I'm not going to, I, I carry the project because I don't think they're going to actually do their work. Okay. So I will do the entire team's work because I think they're going to be fucking shit. I was the exact same way. Carry and I don't on. have to redo it. Carry on. Talk yeah. about the girl. Um, remember all the details. I just remember. She was wanted to do projects. She was in one of my, uh, I think, advanced human physiology class. And then started taking, like, the next semester, started taking the same classes as me, even though we weren't on the same degree path. She was taking them as, like, extra classes, meaning she was paying more money to the school to take an extra course load just to be in my class. How did that make you feel? So special. No, because you know how I am. I will make you... Not want to be around me. This is true. I will go out of my way to make you figure out on your own that you do not want to be around me. Okay. So did you actually say that to her face? Yeah, of course. Okay. So tell us. I said, I don't like you. You're ugly. Maybe. <gasps> you told her that she was ugly to her face? Yeah. Damn. And what did she do? And Got was this that? at school? Yes. And then she continued to not follow after that, you? Not after that. No, that was when I was finally annoyed with it. It was one of those deals where, like, I was walking to class, and I was in the early days of a relationship with somebody else, and she would, like, walk up and do, like, the hook my arm, like, can I walk with you to class? And I was like, bitch. You actually said. No. I, I was doing the key appeal reference. I said, no, bitch. I, okay. I was like. I did the Dwight Schrute. Actually, I could see that. I could yeah. see that more than the Cam Peel. Yeah. Um, you should give me warning so I can actually remember details. Because when you ask me on the spot, I don't remember. Anyways. So my sister has been dealing with this for the last Does she listen four to years now, thankfully. She doesn't Nicole's even know this out. exists. Nicole's going to find out. She doesn't know this exists at this point in time. They still learn back who's Nicole. We want to know what she looks like. They don't have the same last name. You'll never figure it out. Okay. So anyways, she's been dealing with this for the last four years. And the latest installment is after it reminded me when you said people have been sending on Venmo. So he used to do that where he would like send her money periodically. Like she's had her number blocked for probably three years. He would send her messages from like um, made up numbers that he would generate online and things like that. But the latest after he not only flipped it around of sending her money, but requested money from her, 
was he found her new work email that was listed on a company directory after okay she has no social media either so he has no way of knowing that she has gotten a new job in the last it was about six eight months you, ago you can set up search alerts for people's names so yeah they were dumb first right. of all first of all i have told you this before and i've told my clients this you should not put your contact information on your website because the people that are going to contact you from scraping your information greatly outweighs the number of people that actually want to get in contact with you as soon as the bots have your phone number and email address that are listed freely and on your website a bot. they're going to distribute it to all the other places they're going to use it to try and log into your accounts they're going to use it to try and contact you they're going to use it to try and you know, uh, 2FA, get the two-factor authentication codes for your bank accounts. It's stupid. Put a contact form on your website, make them fill it out, use a form of CAPTCHA. You shouldn't have your phone number on there. You shouldn't have an email address on there. You should not have any method on there but the contact form. And if you go and look at any big website, any major, anybody, if you go to Google, you're not going to have a phone number even for Google. Facebook is not going to give you a phone number to call. You have to fill out a contact form. This is why. They will contact you. You do not contact them. You're submitting a request. I don't have my phone number anywhere. You shouldn't have your phone number anywhere. You shouldn't have your email address anywhere. Your company should not be adding it to your profile on their website. People should not be able to directly contact you. If there's a specific person or unit or department within a company, each of those should have a contact form. And if there's a reason why you, maybe you need to contact Nona, then there should be a selection drop-down box where you can choose your representative. If you have a single contact form, you can do conditional querying. So you could say, I want to talk to you sales. Okay. Then the condition next form will pop up or next field will pop up. Who do you want to talk to in sales? So you can select your salesperson if you know them, or if you're just like, hmm, that's a friendly name. I want to use Gladys. Well, I'm just making up names. I want to talk to a girl because I'm a guy. Well, I want to talk to a guy because I'm a girl. Well, I want to talk to a girl because I'm a girl and I don't trust guys. So you're like, there's a million different reasons. Or any. I don't have a preference. Just give me the first person available. It's kind of how car dealerships and stuff like that work too. There's like a centralized office phone number. They'll distribute your call out to somebody else. There's no direct contact with people. Because as soon as your information is, as soon as you hit publish, you're done for. Your site's being crawled every second by bots from every country. And you're going to get endless spam and calls. So anyways. Yeah. Don't do it. And you'll get stalkers. We Especially were talking about my sister's stalker, yeah. and you went on a tangent. But now people are educated, and they're like they're edumacated. Yeah. They're gonna go Andrew style. They're gonna go to their IT department or HR or their boss or whoever. Now and they're gonna be like, "Take my shit off your website right now. Do it." And that's exactly what she had to do. Yeah. But he's already got it. Yep. So he's still continuing. Da da da. The story continues four years later. And if you think that using a VPN or these apps with fake numbers or whatever, burner numbers, it's still associated with your account and your phone and your IP address. That's still traceable. There's no VPN that you have that can stop me from tracing your connection to my website or server back to your actual original IP address. I trace down people all the time for fraud. You're going to be found. And even if they're not doing it on the computer or the phone, they will do it in real life, just like he has done to her outside her bedroom window. Stalkers can go to whichever do. I agree. Okay. Veteranwiki.org, he's wrong, she's right.com, nonaphelps.com, leemaxmedia.com. Give us money. We Give love you. Give us all the doll hairs. We love you. I, well, I don't love you. She loves you. I love her, but she loves you. So <laughs> by proxy, we love you. <laughs> Um, did I shout out Lori? I didn't shout out Lori. I thought that was the next one. I'm gonna shout her out now, too. Lori, if you're watching this, you're waiting till the very end. She gets the whole intro. Yeah, she's gonna get the whole, but I'm this is a bonus. Our friend Lori is starting chemo this week. 
and she said that she was saving the show for when she starts chemo. So now she's going to reach this episode, and she's going to know in advance that the next episode is Fuck Cancer. Fuck Cancer. We got to run the outro. I should probably do that before I stop the recording. Oops. I mean, I can do it in post, but whatever. Bye. Bye.